This segment of the news is brought to you by Journey to Recovery. Take the first step. Call 775-382-1072. News is also brought to you by Smitty's Cards and Coins. Would you like to know what your collectibles are worth? Come by 2281 Postal Road, Unit 4, across from the post office. Welcome back. Let's go to Angela Miles, who has today's Business First Brief. Tapping our news, the Fed is not expected to raise rates at its meeting this week, but clearly a December rate hike is possible. Banks benefit from higher interest rates. Bank of America already is estimating that a 1% increase in short and long rates could translate into an additional $3.2 billion in annual interest income for that big bank. The government is handing out contracts to companies involved in the rebuilding of Texas and Florida. Reuters reports Medtronic and General Dynamics are among the companies that have been awarded contracts. The U.S. economy is feeling the after effects of Hurricane Harvey. Factory output posted the biggest drop since 2009. Output fell by 3.3%. Retail sales dipped two tenths of a percent in August, the biggest decline in six months. Car sales alone were down 1.6 percent, followed by building materials, electronics, appliances, and clothing. Thanks so much, Angela. A Vegas man died in an accident on Highway 160 Saturday afternoon. Police say around 1.17 p.m., a maroon 2006 Harley-Davidson motorcycle was traveling westbound on Highway 160 west of mile marker 18 in the right travel lane. The rider of the Harley lost control and crashed his bike. 59-year-old William Hoach was pronounced deceased on scene. There was no other vehicle involved in the crash. A witness who stopped at the crash scene told troopers that the motorcycle was seen speeding before the collision. Southbound travel lanes of Highway 160 were closed and traffic was diverted around the crash site while the investigation was underway. It appears that Puerto Rico is going to take a direct hit from Hurricane Maria, the first time in 85 years on Wednesday. The Category 4 hurricane's force has doubled in strength as it barrels towards the Caribbean islands, already devastated by Hurricane Irma. This afternoon, Maria was clocked at winds of 125 miles per hour. That's nearly twice the hurricane's strength from just 24 hours earlier. Maria is expected to slam into the Leeward Islands this evening around 8 p.m. Puerto Rico Housing Authority says that there are 450 shelters able to take in 62,714 evacuees and up to 125,428 in an emergency situation. But there are still six fewer shelters available post Irma since some schools still have no electricity. Officials say they expect up to 12 inches of rain and even 20 inches in some areas until Wednesday in the islands and Puerto Rico will get up to 6 to 12 inches with isolated maximum amounts of 25 inches. Rainfall on all these islands could cause life-threatening flash floods and mudslides. As Hurricane Maria edges towards Puerto Rico, the same islands will be hit again from what experts are saying will be a Category 4 hurricane. Thousands of victims and years of recovery are already underway in Texas and Florida from Hurricane Harvey and Irma. A fundraiser was held at a local bar to help send money for the relief effort. A hurricane relief concert was held recently at Vince Neal's Tatuata Wildside on Gamebird Road. The money raised was for the hurricane victims in Texas. We spoke to David Jordan prior to the event. I would throw a benefit for the victims of the flood in Texas over the Wildside at Vince Neal's place, and uh, Sondra's going to be hosting it, and she's great to work with. You know, anytime you bring up anything, she's the first one to jump on board and do everything. And, uh, you know, you can't sit back and see something like that happen and not want to do anything. Pretty much every musician in town, I'm, either I or her, can, uh, contacted them. And uh, most everybody's going to show up. There's a few people that have gigs out of town, like Mike Hickey and stuff. But he's still going to show up and play for a little while. And Dean West has a gig. He's going to show up and play for a while. And then pretty much everybody else, they're going to stick around and play off and on. So it, it should be a good day.
Bands played throughout the afternoon and well into the evening to raise funds for hurricane victims that would be donated to the American Red Cross. If you would like to donate to the hurricane victims, you can go to the American Red Cross online. After the break, we're going to talk about what happened recently at the BOCC, and we're going to speak to some paranormal experts. 